All uh, right, hit the, the subscribe button and the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest that could be next. This is a reaction video to the Jackson 5 Motown audition tape. Yes, you heard correctly. Audition tape, Jackson 5. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're slow. Big up PJ Taylor. If you don't know, you're slow. And no playing. Um, because I used to do music in it and PJ Taylor used to record one of my videos in it. And uh, the thing was, if you don't know, you're slow. But anyway, um, what am I say? Yeah, so follow that to on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that was stuff there. The link to the original video is going to be in the description box below. Now, the interesting thing about this audition tape, right? Apparently, this was um, the 23rd of July, 1968. So that was more than, you could say give or take 20 years. 20 years and... If I could do my math correctly. So yeah, four days. Four days and 20 years. Before I was born, literally. Like, yeah, I know you're trying to work on my age. It's up to you if you want to do that. I'm not ashamed. I'm just trying to tell you how powerful time is. This is a piece of history. It's historical because the Jackson 5... Because of the Jackson 5, there's Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson is the greatest of all time. But not only that, the Jackson 5 broke racial barriers. Do you see what I'm saying? Let's keep it moving. Let's go. <laughs> Apparently this is all clips, so it's not all in in one one one, it's just clips. As you can see, it's just yeah. But wow. Wow. about soul singers it just does sound to me like jeez so you can tell who who influences Michael Jackson? So he's always had the spin from young. Get me? That spin. That spin though. Let's go. But yeah, like this is what I mean about influences, because obviously Michael Jackson is the GOAT and everyone is influenced by Michael Jackson. Now, Michael Jackson has mentioned before that James Brown is one of his influences, one of his inspirations. There you go. He even mentioned about Sammy Davis Jr. There you go, like you're seeing it. Like you're seeing it in this audition. Well, I'm seeing it, do you know what I mean? Like I'm 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 clearly seeing it. Like I'm not trying to be funny or anything. Like it's just there. But then he honed that skill, created his own his own lane within that which is amazing as a solo artist so we come from his brothers doing his thing but 
this is another thing why I wanted to react to this video as well because at the end of the day, the Jackson 5 in general, they need to be given their proper credit, their proper recognition. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's all good talking about Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson. It's good to talk about them because they're great artists. They're phenomenal artists. But let's not forget where it started. Family. And not only that, siblings that can actually really sing and perform well, as you can see right there. Even though this is a tape, a videotape, yeah? This may be, not even maybe, it's, it's in black and white. It's that old. Do you know what I'm saying? It's that old. But the fact that it's available to watch and for me to react just goes to show you that at the end of the day, we all start somewhere. I want you to understand something. If this was really in, if this was really the 23rd of July, 1968, you have to understand this. Michael Jackson was nine years old, bruv. Nine years old. At the time of this recording, or this audition tape, he was nine years old. Are you not understanding this? The brother was nine years old and he's dancing like that and singing like that, like a professional at that age, bruv. Like, I've, did, I've only seen, what, two minutes and 50 seconds of this? And I'm a, if I was a record executive, I'd be like, sign, I'm signing them, let me sign them. Who's their manager? Okay, Joseph Jackson, you're the manager? All right, let's sign them, let's, let's talk, let's talk business. All right, big up Barry Gold, isn't it? Big up um, Susan DePaz. Is it DePaz? Is that how you pronounce her name? Big her up. Because she's also involved in Sister Sister. You know that TV show? Sit, that TV sitcom, Sister Sister. With T and Tamara. She's involved in that too. Listen. Listen. Everything is, interle everything is interlocked. There's no coincidence. Do you see what I'm saying? Let's go. And then I got again while while I talk about sister sister, I just remember saying, who is in sister sister? Who's the person who plays Roger? Go home, Roger. Who plays Roger? Marcus Houston. For a long time, I thought he was related to um um Omarion from B two K. And who is Omarion inspired by? He said this many times. It's Michael Jackson. Do you see that? Ah, let's go. And, and Mark, Mark Houston is also a singer as well. Who is inspired by Michael Jackson? Keep it going. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, Michael Jackson is dancing, but look at these other brothers. That's spin.
Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Was that like a? Was he just about to do the moonwalk? It like it looked like he was about to do the moonwalk. I kid you not. It looked like he was about to do it. But he didn't start doing the moonwalk until 1980. I mean, I did a reaction video to, to his performance when he did it live. With his, well, I say with his brothers, but his brothers were there celebrating Motown 25. Wow. with that level of energy and to still be able to sing so great vocally clearly that's talent bro she's getting it in bro Subscribe to that channel, Jackson Five Things. All right, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. But listen, yeah, I have Michael Jackson's the goal, obviously. But big up everyone in the Jackson family. There's too many needs to mention. There's what well, is there's Randy, there's Tito, there's Jermaine, there's. All right, let me let me see if I can remember the names without. Google it. So clearly, you obviously, you got Michael Jackson. Then you got Tito. Then you have Jermaine. Then you have Jackie. Then you have Randy. But before Randy, there was another one. Who did I mention? So I'm missing someone. Yeah, hang on. So yeah, Michael, Jermaine, T.O., Jackie. No, no, no. Apologies. I should actually know this. See, this is why it's, this is why they need their recognition because how on earth do I not know them all? So originally we called the the Jackson Five. All right. So then they changed it to the Jacksons. Um, Marlon, how can I forget the person I thought forgot was Marlon. So yeah, Jackie, T O, Jermaine, and Marlon. And and then obviously Michael and then obviously Randy. Randy came in a lot, lot late off because he was he's the youngest. Um, but yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing because you see life. It, again, like I keep on saying to you, everyone starts somewhere. I said this before earlier. Everyone starts somewhere. This is where they. I don't want to say this is where they officially officially started, but in terms of getting signed to Motown. I mean, this is all in the um, docu series uh, American Dream or the American Dream. Like, go watch it. Trust me, or well, trust yourself. Watch, watch it. Like, you you will not be disappointed. You will be inspired. You will be inspired. Even right now, me, I'm inspired. I'm like, raw. This is what they went through, or part part of it. There's obviously some things they possibly left out, but yeah, man. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave in the comment section below whatever, whatever you want to see next.
The link to the original video is going to be in the description box below. Man, this was great to see. Um, but yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest, which you can leave in the comment section below. That could be next. One more thing. I just read something real quick, yeah? In regards to the Jackson 5, which is very, very interesting. This is a good thing about, I don't know if they knew at the time or whatever, but, all right, watch this here. Where is it? All right, so during July, this is on Wikipedia, so I don't know if this is 100% facts, but let's just run for it, run with it for now, right? So during July 1968, the boys opened for Bobby Taylor and the Vancouver's, all right? So um, at the Regal Theatre. After being blown away by Michael's performance, Taylor sent the boys to Detroit, where he set up and recorded a Motown audition, which you just saw, all right? Boom. Now watch this. Um, where is it, where is it, where is it? All right, so boom, watch this. Boom. Um, uh, yeah, so which took place at Motown's official headquarters on Detroit's Woodward Avenue, on July the 23rd, 1968. So it, that is the correct date. Um, according to this, anyway. Barry Gordy, who had initially rejected their tapes, refusing to sign any more kid acts. Understandable. That's understandable. It's understandable, but why? If you haven't seen it. Do you know what I mean? Like, at least see it first. All right, so boom. After Stevie Wonder, Changed his mind once he viewed. Don't know where I meant Steve Wonder because didn't mention him before, but it's, it just said. Oh, oh, okay. Let me rewind. We re rewind it. All right. So boom. So basically, on the July twenty third, nineteen sixty eight. So Barry Gordy had initially rejected the tape, refusing to sign any more kid acts after Stevie Wonder because Stevie Wonder, with ten, by age, he was a kid act. By age, do you know what I mean? But well, he's a phenomenal talent. Um, so he obviously he changed his mind, Barry Gordy, once he viewed Taylor's tape on July 26th. Funny that, because my birthday is when? The 27th of July. Crazy that. Um, and I believe Joe Jackson's birthday is on a, is either the 28th or the 26th. I can't remember. It's one of those days. Um, which I'm going to actually look at, look in a minute. Um, and then Gordy returned to Detroit where he had Joe Jackson and the boys sign their first five year long Motown contract. Um, yeah, so this is this is what I'm trying to say. Like, the, the funny thing about life is, yeah, let me, um, I want to find out something real quick. Like, like, um, yeah, try to look at when Joe Jackson's birthday is. Yeah, on his birthday. What a birthday present. Nah, that is a boom birthday present. To sign, to get your kids signed to Motown Records on your birthday. Like, listen, I don't think you understand this. Yes, he was upset in regards to his, um, I'll probably do this also because it makes sense. Yes, he was upset in regards to T.O. breaking the, the guitar string. Cool. But then to see his boys do his thing, do their thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, knowing this could be the, the way out because they're very talented kids. And then one thing led to another. And then look where they are now. Like, like Michael Jackson was a billionaire, bro. They may not want to report that in the mainstream media like that. But it only makes sense when he was a he was a billionaire. Like it only makes sense. Do you see what I mean? Um And obviously they were able to take take their kids out of Gary and Indiana. I mean, it like if you've seen the movie King Richard, right? You will understand how not even just that, it's just Taking your kids out of a situation to a new situation where you are able to make sure that they're good financially and all that stuff there. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
Some people may say, oh, he exploited these kids, blah, blah, blah. But no, he didn't. Do you see what I'm saying? If they're talented kids, they're talented kids. Do you know what I mean? Like, might as well take, it might as well, I don't want you to take advantage because then that contradicts what I'm trying to say. But like, it only makes sense to help them get to where they need to be, need to nurture their talent. Because look how many people he's inspired just by that move. Do you see what I'm saying? So Joel Jackson needs to get full credit. Do you see what I'm saying? He needs to get that credit as well. Obviously, Catherine Jackson as well, but he needs a lot of credit. In fact, even Michael Jackson said this. I'm going to play that clip. Get me? But anyway, with that said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next. That is a great piece of information right there. I promise you. Like, there's no such thing as coincidence. But there is a God because for that to happen, that... There has to be a God. Because that is that is a miracle. Not even a miracle because they're good, obviously. But it's like, the salmon is on his birthday. On his birthday, bruv. Man. Anyway. And wait, hang on. Let me do the maths. Michael, Michael Jackson. Jo Joseph Jackson was born on July 26, 1928. All right. Let's do the maths. So, 19, give me a second, 19, give me a second, 1968 minus 19, uh, 28, he was 40. He was 40, bruv. On his 40th birthday, and your 40th birthday is like a great anniversary, a great celebration, you need to be celebrating that. Hey, what a celebration.